Good morning, Booktube. This is Johnny. It's been a couple days since I made a video. It is August the 4th, 2017. It is a Friday morning. It is 9.05 here in West Michigan. Sitting here having morning devotions, reading, uh, still reading. I'm really going to... Uh, Sons in the Sun, Riches and Reach of Adoption in Christ David by David B. Gardner. F Forward by Sinclair B. Ferguson. This is published by the Presbyterian Reformed Publishers. Yeah, I've been reading it. I'm on page 113. So I was reading that this morning. Yesterday, I just basically just read this all day yesterday. I didn't, uh, The Deep Things of God, How the Trinity Changes Everything by Fred Sanders. So, yeah, this morning, this is a Friday. This could be a Friday Reads, but, um, I wanted to, sh I've been mentioning, I've been, I have gone to thrift stores the last two weeks. I really haven't shown anything. Uh, as far as my diary this morning, I'm on page 698. I should hit page 700. Usually I write over about a thousand pages a year in my diary. So I'm pretty much on schedule. We have how many months left? We have August, September, October, November, December. We got five months left. Is that right? No, wait a minute. Four months. September, October, November, December. So, so yeah, first I'll show the books. Uh, first I'll show the, I'll just go, I got this book uh, this week. Uh, this is called Modernism in Dispute, Art Since the 40s. It's kind of like art history. It's kind of very technical, but I like the, uh, the uh, illustrations, the paintings in here. There's material on the Jackson Pollock, and so I got that. And then I picked up a novel I already had. Uh, this is Consequences by Penelope Lively. I'll take this to the Book Nook, the library used bookstore, uh, since I already have it. And I picked up this, uh, this I bought at the Book Nook, not last Saturday I was there, I think, and I picked up this uh, Elizabethan Thriller by S.J. Par Paris, Sacrilege. And I picked up at the Book Nook, the library used bookstore, The Daredevils, a novel by Gary Amadell. And then at thrift stores, I found this book by Alan Bloom, Love and Friendship. He was the, the author of a book that was really very popular a couple of years ago, Closing of the American Mind. This is his book, uh, Looking at Love and Friendship as presented in modern literature. Like he goes to Rasu, Strindale, Austin, Faubert, Toisty. He looks at Shakespeare and Nature, Romeo, Romeo and Juliet, Anthony Clatrapera, <laughs> not not Cleopatra, Measure for Measure, The Winner's Tale. He just looks at the theme of love and friendship in literature. And then I picked up this at a thrift store, uh, th classic science fiction by Joe Julius Julius Verne. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, From the Earth to the Moon, Around the Moon. This is illustrated, kind of like neat illustrations. And let's see. So I picked that up at this store. And then uh, it was, to, I think Wednesday, a friend, my friend Tim and I went up to Grand Haven. They have a city library that has a used bookstore in the library called the Tattered Page. No, Cheap Stacks. It's called Cheap Stacks. 
And it's really, a, I go there at least, I try to go at least once during the summer because the hardbacks are 50 cents, paperbacks are a quarter, and then they have books, good book, you know, really uh, more, like they have a book like this, for example, this book I bought for a dollar. It's uh, this is Bernard uh, Molimade, the people and uncollected stories. I collect him, so I bought that at the cheap stacks. I bought Wallace Steiger novel, all the little th live thing, all the little live things. I already have this, so this go to the book nook. Then I picked up a Cheap Stacks, a novel by Dan Gerber, A Voice from the River. I never heard of him, but in the back it was recommended by Charles Baxter, who I collect, and also Jim Harrison, who I collect, and I always try to try out new writers if I if got good recommendations. Then I picked up a, this was an old biography of Nathaniel Hawthorne. It was written around, I think it was first written by, uh, and it came out in 1902. This is a reprint by George E. Woodbury. He was a, a, a man of letters. He, in his day, he was famous literary figure. This is his biography of Nathaniel Hawthorne by George E. Woodbury. I also noticed he did a biography on Emerson that I want to look at, but I I collect books on the Transcendentalists. I don't know if Nathaniel, Nathaniel Hawthorne would put himself in the, in the camp of Transcendentalists, but he was friends with them. And then I picked up at the Cheap Stacks a, a novel by Merle, Merle Sparks. Memento More, and then I picked up all these people I collect. It's kind of interesting. I just, if I, I didn't really see anything at Cheap Stacks that blew me away, that blew me out of the water, but I just grab things by writers and subjects that I collect. And I have, for example, this, this is by Tom Ratchman. I have his novel, The Imperfectionist. This is his other novel. The Rise and Fall of the Great Powers. I got this uh, for $1.50. And then I collect the novels of Sebastian Barry, who is on the Booker list this year. This is one of his earlier novels. I think this one came out in... I collect his writing. This one came out in 2008. This is The Secret Scripture by Sebastian Barry. These are his other ones I have. Uh, I have a, this one by Sebastian Barry, and then oh, I have Anne Dunn by Sebastian Barry. So I have those, and then I picked up a biography on Patrick O'Brien. He wrote. Uh, he wrote a series of novels on uh, a masterful historical novelist, chronicler of the Royal Navy during the Napoleonic Wars. He's famous for, but he's written novels. I have a novel by him, and so I picked that up, and I picked up this biography on Galga, Goga, no, Gu, Gula, I can't pronounce it. He was a Spanish painter, old man, Goya by Julian Blackburn. I have her novel, Nate Daisy Bates in the Desert, which I've been looking for for all week and can't find. I, and then I picked up a novel I already have by John Hawkins, Second Skin. And then I picked up a novel, on Tro not a novel, but a biography on Trollope. Uh, a Trollope, a biography by N. John, John Hall. I already have this. So this will go to the book nook too. I have a huge Trollope collection, biography, autobiography, his novels, travel. And then I picked up a, a biography on 
Simone de Bouvier by Claude Francis and Fernande Golterder. This is translated from the French by Leslie Nelson. And then I picked up this uh, History of the New York Times by Harrison Salisbury, who I collect. He I have his memoirs, and he wrote a book on the, the Siege of Lening Leningrad, 900 Days. I like... Uh, I collect books on the New York Times, history, editors, journalists, the New York Times. So those are the books that I got. So here's that Imperfectionist by Tom Ratchman. And here's some Morel, Sp Mor Morel Spark, Abiding and Betting and the Prime of Mrs. Jean Brody. So all these go down in the Laura Neville now because they've been stacked up here haunting me for the last week and I want to get them all this downstairs, put them all in their stacks, put them in their proper place and then go on to the next Friday we go to a big book sale in South Haven. So that's about what I got at library used bookstores where I got at thrift stores. I haven't gotten any books in the mail this week that I can remember. As far as what I've been reading, I really can't remember. I know I read like the deep things of God yesterday. I don't have my diary with me. Um, I can't remember what I read last. I don't know. Anyway, I should have my diary with me, but I don't. So that's uh, what's going on here in book world for me. Not much else to report. It's a Friday. Tomorrow's a Saturday, a Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Existence keeps flowing by. I suppose I'll just sign off. Until next time, bye.